Today I took the jet surf to the beach and there was a shark attack. We ended up rescuing a baby turtle, getting chased by an alligator, and even saving a shark. This episode is gonna be insane. Guys, we are at the beach and I'm noticing these flags. We have a green flag and a purple flag. Which are these ones? Green says, we're good. But purple says, swim with caution because dangerous fish or marine life present in the water. And we literally had a shark attack happen at the beach over there today. Sharks. Ashley, we're talking about a shark biting a little boy on Wednesday. I'm told he was bit on his front shoulder by a small species of shark and was treated yesterday at Dosher Memorial Hospital. And these people are still going in even though the purple flag is flying and there are sharks out there. And I'm definitely going in the water tomorrow, even if it's purple. Carter's life good of morning, guys. I am currently here at a beach house with an amazing view. You can literally just look out and you can just see the ocean. It's got a pool, it's got a hot tub. Three stories, this house is amazing. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. Come on in, check this out as we enter. People are sitting so they're gonna be a little bit quiet. But this is the second story. You can see the ocean view, it's amazing. It's got eight bedrooms. You can go all the way upstairs to the master. Here is one of the rooms. Check it out, absolutely gorgeous. And this room is really cool because it has the same amazing view of the ocean so you can wake up and just look at the waves. Amazing. Moving on to the main floor, pretty much all eight bedrooms are the same. Some are a little bit bigger or smaller than others. But check out the main living area. I thought with eight bedrooms, this house would have a very small common space, but it doesn't. This place is actually huge. And the whole time you're like having to do the dishes, cook food or whatever, you can just look out and you can see the ocean. How crazy is that? It's so cool. I think that's amazing. There's windows and balconies everywhere. This is the other side, so you can look at all the neighbors. All amazing, colorful houses. We got like a blue one, a pink one, and then a bright blue all the way down there. And that now brings us to outside on the porch, which is so cool. It's probably the best place to hang out. It's the biggest porch. The stairs literally go right down to the beach. I talk about being on the sand. You're on the sand. You just go down and that's sand. You're on the beach, literally. You just walk out. It's a beautiful day. Or you just hang out here and hear the waves. The pool, the hot tub. Of course, I brought the one wheel, fully charged. We are out on the beach, guys. We can look back at all the beach houses. I've never been to a beach quite like this, where all the houses sit up on stilts and they're all pretty colored. It's so cool though, I love it. Sandra's been down here saying that the sand down here, unlike other beaches, actually gets kind of hard. And I'm not sure why. But the good thing is that it lets you ride a one wheel on it very well. Andrew is definitely right. These things ride amazing. It's so easy to ride. As I was riding the one wheel on the beach, someone jumped out in front of me and yelled at me to stop riding. At first, I was confused, and then I saw this. Oh, turtles, whoa. That's pretty cool. We got one more coming after this. There's another one? Yeah. About 15 went a minute ago, and now a couple of stragglers or something. They all just hatched like this morning or something? Yeah, usually 90% uh, of them hatch during the night, but this is uh, early morning. That's so cool, I've never seen that before. Thanks for holding that guy. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow, guys, I could literally not believe that. I've seen that on like, Blue Planet, Planet Earth, like that where you see little babies patch and all the time. People have just witnessed that. Like Aaron Carter said. That is amazing. Did you catch anything yet? What are you hoping to get? Really just the last night I caught a lot of focus. Are they like sizable fish? Like can you catch something and eat it? Is that how big they are? Yeah. That's awesome. Good luck. I'm literally living the dream out here this morning, Carter's life. One wheel and out of the sun on the beach, right up against the water. I mean, it's got to be the coolest thing I probably have ever done on a one wheel, hands down. He's just cruising down the beach. We're going to see what else we can get into, but the morning is still young. Keeping an eye on my battery. And I'm at 88%. And I'll turn around before 50%. Maybe I'll ride back on the street and change it up. I 
had to stop riding again because I saw a shark that was stuck on the beach. Guys, sharks can only live a couple of minutes out of the water, so luckily some people helped rescue him and we got it back in the water. 73%, we're still going. I'm gonna probably turn back around 60. So I have more than half to get back. We are actually coming up on the end of the island. We're gonna make it to the point. That's pretty cool, I didn't know I made it that far. We got boats out there. Oak sand looking like it might get soft. Make it to the tip of the tip. Out, guys, we are literally at the tip and it just drops off. And there are people way out there just walking around. It's so shallow during low tide. This is literally looking like a little river. It must be the like intracoastal coming through during the tides. I don't know, this is so interesting. I've never seen something like this before. There's little fish swimming in there. Oh, is that a crab? There's literally a crab. Is he alive? I don't know. Kind of dead. I wish I had a drone right now to figure out what is going on with all of this like land and water. So looking at the satellite as I zoom in, we are standing on the tip of one of the islands. So looking across that way where there's houses, this is the start of another island. So we are right here and if you look across, that's East End Holden. That is so wild. So we are on the intersection of like two or three bodies of land because if you look inward, then it's just North Carolina actual like mainland and we're sitting on islands out here and this is like some kind of sandbar it's a little island of itself right there and it looks like we can just go walk out there right now. this is so wild what are you collecting oyster shells wow that's cool what's an oyster shell look like it's um these right here Oh, okay. Is so is that one? Yeah, but that's yep. Yeah, that's exactly what one is. But it's not a good one though. No, because it's not as white as they need. People want, most people want the white ones. I, oh, I see. Like, that's just cool. Just don't get trapped over here, okay? Because pretty soon the tide's gonna come back and you can't get it back in the water. Okay. Thank you. There are a lot of shells here. She is collecting oyster shells, not the orange ones. She's trying to get the white ones because she sells them. And that's the white one. She's collecting things like this. Although that's not a good one. It's broken. So we gotta be quick. If we're gonna make it out to this little island, which we just got to, I can get stranded. So you definitely don't wanna spend too long out here. But I wanna explore and see what's going on out here. The sand is so squishy. It looks like it's gonna be like quicksand. If I get up to the high and dry, it'll be better. I'm literally island hopping. This is the start of one island over there, and it goes down the coast for miles. This is the island I rode up. I'm on a tiny little sandbar of an island basically goes underwater during high tide. You can see the water comes all the way up to here. So only this little spot of it would be above water. Over there, that's North Carolina, the mainland. I think I'm gonna go run back to the one wheel and start riding again, because the tide is definitely coming in. I don't wanna get trapped, but it is cool out here. And I bet that's another island right there. It's like a hill with a cross on top. That's cool. Whoa, no way. That's a sand dollar. That is so cool. Whoa, that's the cutest little conch cell I've ever seen too. And that was sitting right next to the one wheel. All right, two amazing finds. I'm taking these home. Now it's time to start the journey all the way back down the island from the tip. There's only two things that I'm worried about. One is running out of charge and my battery dropping way faster. But I am at 65%, so I should be good. We'll keep an eye on it. The second thing I'm worried about is apparently, I heard rumblings that the lifeguards on these beaches don't like people riding one wheels. You're gonna ride bikes and other things, but for some reason, one wheels, they don't like. So hopefully I don't run into one of those lifeguards on the way back. We're turning the corner, we're about to find out. And hopefully if I do, they're cool about it and they let me ride all the way back so I don't have to carry this thing because it is heavy and I am long far away from the house. These open stretches of beach are absolutely amazing. So flat smooth. You can literally look back the other way, not even see where I'm going, and it's perfect. But man, we're going fast. Look at all of these beach houses. They are so cool. They literally walk down to the sand. I think the coolest part for me is I've never covered so much coastline on the coast and just traveling and seeing how the beaches change and how the shells change and how all that changed. Normally I just go to the beach and I'm in one area the whole time. Even if I run on the beach, I'm only covering like about a mile or two. 
But I think today I already drove like five or six miles in one direction and I'm working my way back. It's just amazing because the houses changed, the shape of the beach changed, the people changed, the density changed. We saw sea life, we found shells. I mean, it's pretty, really cool. Like I'm so excited about being able to ride on the beach. So here is another one. You gotta be very careful crossing. That is the enclosure that the turtles hatch. They build a little thing for them so they can hopefully make it to the, the water without people stepping on them because I wouldn't even see them coming. They're so tiny little things. We're down to 55%. Not bad because we are making good headway. Uh, I gotta figure out how far we have to go. I don't wanna pass the house. But we're only one and a half miles away. One thing I will say is the tide is definitely coming up higher. I have less dry sand to ride on. Um, yeah, it gets me a little nervous, but luckily we're just not that far away where the tide's gonna come up with me and then I will be stranded. So I think we should be good. We're gonna make it, guys. Let's go. Carter's life at the beach. And no Coast Guards in sight, which is the best part. I see the Coast Guard up ahead. You can see the headlights just barely off in the distance. That is definitely the guy that's gonna say, hey man, uh, bikes are cool and everything else is cool, but for some reason, a tiny little electric one wheel that's quiet. Uh, I just wonder if we can turn off before then, we will see. He's probably gonna give me a good old talking to. We are getting close. Yep, that's it, you can see the side by side. We're only 0.4 miles away from the house and this guy is definitely gonna intercept us. Let's see what he says. It will be interesting. It'll be good. Make for good content. 0.3 miles. Oh my god. Can't have that on the beach. Can't have him on the beach. Oh, uh, why is that? They yeah. Said no electric vehicles on the beach. Oh, did they really? Yeah, I came out early and I just went up to the end and back. You know, I'm gonna be out of sight in a few minutes. Yeah. If somebody else says something to you. Just take it off the beach. Yeah. Yo, you know, you with me? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I got okay, you. Man. I'm just heading back there anyways. Cool, I appreciate man. you. No problem. Thank you. That guy was the coolest lifeguard ever. He says, you're good, just keep riding, just have fun. If somebody else says, take it off, then eh, you know, maybe take it off then. But uh, he's not gonna worry about me. And apparently it's only the second year of no electric vehicles in the beach. They used to allow them. I guess people were going too crazy with the e-bike rentals and they were bombing up and down the coast. As you can imagine, it's dangerous when there's little kids running around left and right, not looking for e-bikes. I mean, I wouldn't if I was swimming on the water. It's like, I get it. I feel like they should have say like maybe before 10 a.m., you're fine to just rip, because that'd be so fun. I'm heading back anyways. I'm almost back. I think that's my house. Yes, it is. There it is, guys. I'm staying in a Carter Share green minty beach house. We made it. Oh my gosh, that was literally so close. If he was just like 10 seconds later, I would have been back. After I got home from One Wing, I decided to go and swim in the lagoon. But right when I was about to jump in, I saw this. A huge alligator looking for something to eat. Guys, this thing is gigantic. Comment below if you've ever swam with an alligator. But now it's time for me to ride the jet surf in the ocean where the shark attack happened. We got the jet surf ready. We're gonna take it out to the ocean. It's gonna be the first jet surf ride in the ocean since Malibu. It's probably been two years. So I'm a little bit nervous. Hope it, hope it all works. I'm only rocking two fins. I'm not putting the center fin in because I'm lazy. Don't think I'll need it. Let's go give it a try. Here we go. We got some swells. Oh, I gotta make it past some of these guys. Woo! Oh my gosh, these are huge out here. up the jet skis because we're heading to the beach tonight well if all goes to plan we'll be leaving before the sun goes down 
but this is the first time we're taking these jet skis out of the team warehouse and actually into open ocean water. This actually might be the first time ever these skis have seen anything but fresh water. So in order to prep, we are literally hosing it down with basically WD-40, and that's to keep any salt water and corrosion off all the stuff in there that can rust, which is everything in there. So we want these things completely covered. So here is the jet drive, and you basically just spray paint it down, get all of these bits, and just soak them. This is gonna help keep the salt water off, give it a nice protective coating, and prevent everything from rusting. So just literally any metal, spray it down.